themselves that they can lay down their weapons, that they don't need to use them against other human beings, that they can love other human beings, interact with, with them with, without a violent or power control uh, type of situation going on. Uh, I'm not saying that there aren't some human beings here that definitely don't have some serious problems. I'm not saying that at all. There are some who do. But the bottom line is, when you, when you look at the whole picture and you go up the ladder, okay, we are not the enemy. The enemy isn't human at all. But it's pushing all our buttons so that we're so busy looking at each other and so, so um, uh, neurotic about each other that we're not looking at the real, the real reality here, the real cause, which is another race or races that are here who are totally playing games with us, feeding off our energy, and hoping that we destroy ourselves so that they can keep the planet and themselves. Really Let's let's say who it is again. It's the Orion group. It's the Orion group. It's a group that is on its way here now from Alpha Draconis. They're the real culprits behind this whole deal. Um, Alpha and, Draconis and or Orion or both those. Two. Alpha Draconis. They're the real culprits behind this whole thing. Above the Orion. Above the Orion group. Yes. Okay. Yes. So then there's Orion. The then there's Orion. The Orion group. Then you've got uh, the Greys. And where did the, the Giza intelligence fit in here? They were just a, a group. They were totally independent. They came in and did their own thing. Uh, they were perceived as gods, and they played the role out. And they got stuck in it. You know, They got stuck in the ego part of it. We're gods. We can do this. We have all this technology. And they just played it out for all that it was worth. OK. Uh, you know, and, but to be honest with you, at this point, they're not really much of a factor anymore. You know, Giza intelligence. They're not much of a factor at all anymore. What should a human being do if they encounter a renegade Zeta Reticulin? What would your advice be? Stand in their truth. If you can't run, stand in your truth and just look, them, look at them. If they try to project their head and their thoughts into your head, you just stand firm with who you are and you say, No, you are not coming into my head. You are not taking me over and you are not not going to violate my free will. I don't give a damn who you are. Leave me alone. Period. Because if it's a benevolent, they will not try to do it. They will not try to take you over. They will not try to, to put crap into your head so they can feed off of your fear. Period. Okay, I'm going to skip the keys of intelligence for the moment then, and we'll go to the Alpha Draconis. Can we, can we take a short time Oh, out? definitely. Thank you. You know, Rick, there's something else I want to, I want to stress here, and that is, and this is something that, that the Andromedans have really stressed, there is no race any better than us. Just because they're different, just because they're more evolved, doesn't mean that they're better. We are equal. We're just not maybe as aware as they are, but that doesn't mean that any race is any better or any less. In fact, we're all equal. So we should just not a, worship anybody. Hell, no. Absolutely not. That's how we got into this mess in the first place. Right. Um, that, 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 absolutely, if you want to worship somebody, worship the God within you. That's it. Worship no one else. And if you're going to have a tyrant in your life, let it be that part of you that's critical of you. Let that be your only tyrant. Don't give anybody else any power outside of your physical form to be a tyrant, to control you, or manipulate you in any way. Be yourself. Because if you are yourself, you're a part of God, and that part of you knows what to do. It knows the right way to live. And, you know, and this is really interesting. Because of our genetic makeup, of the 22 different races, and, and all of the DNA and the racial memories that we have and the genetics that we have, because of the fact that we are spirit, do you know, and this is an incredible thing, do you know that the Andromedans actually consider us royalty? They consider us royalty. We obviously aren't acting like royalty, but we're the only ones in our galaxy that can make the claim to having the genetics that we have and the possibilities and the capabilities of doing what we can do as a race. We're the only ones. They actually consider every single one of us royalty. Now, think about that. I guess all beings that, that would try and... and uh be spiritual and raise their spirituality in, in essence would be royalty. You know? uh, uh, yes, I suppose that's true. 